What the f is wrong with Congress? Thanks to the incompetent circus monkeys that have been elected as representatives, the U.S. House just voted to approve $95 billion in foreign aid. Oh yeah, and they're banning TikTok. Because nothing screams American quite like silencing free speech. While we're all out here hanging on to dear life with one nail, they're solving problems that don't even exist, like funding proxy wars and deleting apps that are used by teenage girls. I have seen things floating in the toilet that could run this country better than the perverts we have now. Mad that gas prices are rising and standing at 3.67 a gallon? Screw you, use your legs. Mad that inflation is kicking your ass at the grocery store? Pull yourself up from your bootstraps. Job market a total piece of with massive layoffs? Don't complain, be happy with your underpaying customer service job. Can't afford a house because it takes an income of 100K? Just work harder, you lazy millennial. Little peeve, the national debt is more than $34 trillion. Don't ask any questions. School debt keeps you up at night? Get a second job, you entitled millennial. Tired of going to the grocery store and finding empty shelves? From supply chain issues, just come back in between shifts at one of your two or three or four jobs. When is somebody gonna tell Congress to stop being so entitled to our money? Why not tell these other countries to pull themselves up by their bootstraps and solve their own problems? Real sorry what's happening to innocent civilians in Israel, Gaza, Ukraine, and Russia, but it's not my problem. Sounds selfish, but it's the truth. Plus, I don't really want to fund the meat grinder that is Ukraine as they keep pushing young men as soldiers into a losing war. I don't want Israelis to be attacked by Hamas, but I also don't want to fund the siege in Gaza that's killing and starving children. Call me crazy, that's just how I feel. All this money was passed in three separate bills, more than 60 billion to Ukraine, more than 26 billion to Israel, and more than 8 billion to counter China in the Indo-Pacific. Because we don't have enough issues, let's pick on China right now. The fourth bill was the TikTok ban. These will all be combined into one big sexy bill before heading to the Senate. Speaker Mike Johnson said he did this so members could vote their conscience, as if Congress has a conscience. Now, I can't believe I'm gonna agree with Marjorie Taylor Greene on anything, but she might be right about Mike Johnson being blackmailed. What the heck has his activity and his votes been about recently? This dude doesn't even have a bank account and he's the third most powerful person in the country. Note to Republicans here, the devil you know is sometimes better than the devil you don't. And I'm talking about McCarthy and Johnson. But I wouldn't expect a Nepo baby like Matt Gates to have any aptitude for governing and to know that. Quite a kawinky dink that he was being investigated for allegedly boinking a minor and that he was the one leading the charge to oust McCarthy, who recently said that his ouster only happened because Gates allegedly asked him to squash the investigation and he refused. What's so frustrating about these ousters is look what we're left with. I didn't like McCarthy, but did anybody think we were gonna get somebody better? We weren't gonna get some rebel anyways. They were always gonna cave and give it to some establishment prick. If you do oust Speaker Johnson, how about giving that curly-headed little crusader a chance? I bet Massey could handle Congress. But that's a whole other side issue because my cortisol levels are already too high. Every America First conservative should be ashamed that they exported nearly $100 billion to other countries instead of spending that money on their own citizens, the ones that put their sorry ass in Congress in the first place. Did you know that more than 30 million students have a combined school lunch debt of $262 million every year? Congress, why didn't you pay that off instead? You know, estimates suggest that ending homelessness would cost about $8 billion annually over the next dozen years. Why didn't you fund that instead? If you just have to spend money, why not do it on American citizens? Oh, I guess that $95 billion is better suited for defense contractors, am I right? Quick question here for the government. I might fart later tonight. Would you like me to save it in a jar so you can tax that and send it to Israel or Ukraine too? The sad part is these four bills were approved overwhelmingly. 
not even close. Funny how the one time our divided Congress can get together is to screw over Americans. TikTok vote, 360 to 58. Indo-Pacific ally funding, 385 to 34. Israel funding, 366 to 58. Ukraine funding, 311 to 112. Quite some margins there. Every Republican and MAGA-loving conservative representative who complains about the debt should be ashamed of approving that much aid for foreign countries when the U.S. is in dire straits. Here's one for you. Charity begins at home. And I'm not done reading the filth for Republicans. Every right-wing ding-dong free speech warrior MAGA conservative that voted for this should never complain about social media censorship. They should be ashamed that they are censoring speech with this ban. They're hypocrites, plain and simple. They complained about Twitter for years, constantly gripe about YouTube and scream that conservatives are shadow banned and demonetized to only shut down their biggest competitor. It's like they're complaining of you farting in your own home, but they're blowing diarrhea all over your yard, okay? First of all, social media can do whatever the it wants. It's a private company. If they want me on their platform or they don't, who cares? Congratulations. That's the perks of running a multinational, multi-billion dollar company. You set the rules. You're a little czar. And yeah, TikTok is a Chinese company, but who gives a rat? If I want to let China have my data, how is that any different than letting Zuckerhead have it? Do we trust Mark Zuckerberg anymore? I don't. That man is likely not even human. See, the thing is, politicians, they don't want to hear our criticism. Dissent is not allowed. We must serve thy master. Keep calm and carry on. How dare you question your government, you little serf, you little proletariat, peon, you pauper. And you know what? I don't care that you're a parent. It's your problem that you let your kids get on social media all day long. If I want to let my kids watch TikTok every hour of every day, who gives a rat? Why should the government step in and dictate that they know what's best for your kids? I thought the conservative philosophy was that the parents knew best. Or did we forget all those school board meetings and questionable library books that parents moaned and groaned about and commentators complained of, saying that parents should have choice? Oh, choice when they say so, but not when you want. Okay, got it. For a second there, I thought I had freedom in this country. To every politician who voted for any of these bills, I see you. The fact that you can't let us cope with the collapse of America by doom scrolling on TikTok is pathetic. What is it, this big? I hope you lose your keys every day. I hope your car gets towed. I hope the IRS audits you. I hope you lose your driver's license and have to spend your Saturday at the DMV. The one time you silly little politicians decide to do anything, any effort into your job and you do this, why couldn't you do us all a favor and just keep cheating on your wives and stay away from public policy? Thanks for listening to Broad Thinking. Be sure to tune in next Monday night for an all-new episode. In the meantime, be sure to follow the Ladies Love Politics channel on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Truth Social, and Brighton Social.